what has surprised you most in the making of this film and it kind of reaching audiences? What surprised you most about yourself or about Mark or about the the the, the, the everybody involved? I, crowd crowdsourcing the diagnosis of Mark DeFriest was probably the biggest surprise. When I first showed the rough cut to my family members, I have um, a cousin who is, who's on the autism spectrum, and his mom was like, you got to read Look in My Eyes, you know, this book by um, uh, John Robeson, who, who was, um, you know, just a fascinating story about Asperger's, and, and it helped me to understand a lot of how to talk to Mark and how to, you know, understand where he was coming from. I don't know that that is his diagnosis. I'm not a doctor, um, but the, the fact of the matter is after screenings when I, when I was, you know, touring with the film is that people would come up to me and, and offer their insights as to what they thought made Mark tick. And the other component of that is that nobody that was interested in the story was comfortable just leaving well enough alone. They didn't sort of say, well, okay, this is a story that I can't take part in. They would all ask me, you know, is there something that I can do? So there was a doctor who came up to me at Naples Film Festival in Florida last year and said, you know, I'd like to write a letter to the Parole Commission about my expertise as a, a you know, diagnosing people on the spectrum, working with kids on the spectrum. And her letter went into the parole package that went to them last year. Um, but not only was it her letters, we, we took um, the temperature of the audience after every screening. Like when I did LA Film Festival uh, for the US premiere in t last year, there was a sense that people were like, what can we do? And I didn't have a real answer for them at the time. And then Mark's parole date was set. Not his parole date, but his parole hearing. And I thought, well, maybe I could find a way to bring audiences into this and allow them to vote on what they thought should happen to him at the parole hearing. Because after all, it was a political body. They need to hear from the people. And so I had all these screenings this time last year in Florida. Then you now see it in the coda of the film where we ask audiences, do you think Mark DeFriest should be granted conditional parole release, yes or no. And audiences voted overwhelmingly, you know, like I had two votes against 500 that I just between October and November when I did these screenings that said that Mark, you know, should be, should be paroled. And we presented that to the commission. And of course, we had press interest. We had, you know, people who had written letters. And look what happened. You know what I mean? Like, that's the beauty of all this is that, you know, storytelling can be this catalyst and audiences can be involved. And in fact, tonight I'm going to pass around or they're going to be passed around some ballots. Okay, um, let's do, we should, we should pass around now. And, uh, I, I'm going to ask you to finish that thought and then take any questions from the audience. Yeah. And just to, why I'm distributing ballots tonight is that you know, Florida will release Mark from their custody on January 30th, 2016. But as it stands, Mark owes four years to California for possession of marijuana and a handcuff key in Florida prison, in, in California prison in the 2000s. So this is a very so, interesting moment where we're going to be able to do these screenings this month all over California and then present those findings to the... So he was the, in the Florida state prison system and somehow got transferred to California. Yeah. After Mark, just so everybody understands, after Mark witnessed the death of Frank Valdez or the murder of Frank Valdez, he was transferred out of state for his own Frank Valdez was the, was the prisoner who was killed by the goon squad. Yeah. yeah. So that... that changed Mark's life because he was a witness to that and he became a kind of a protected witness out of state. 